Hey, this is Greg Kulwick, and thank you for joining me as we explore a new potential for the use of Google Slides in the classroom. So Google Slides, we all know, is a super powerful kind of core component of Google Drive and G Suite, typically used for presentations, um, a collaborative workspace for students as they're mapping out a project. I've even seen students publish digital books with Google Slides. But with a recent update to Slides, kind of transforms the capacity and the potential of this tool. With the simple insert menu, there's now the option to add audio to Google Slides. Now, while there's all sorts of podcasting platforms available, I've explored tools like Synth and Anchor in previous videos, those tools might not be a great fit for your students if you want them creating podcasts. So what we're going to do in this video is explore how we can take a core classroom tool, Google Slides, work with some really simple audio capture programs that exist on the web, and transform Google Slides into a podcasting platform. So stick with me and check out the how-to in the next part of the video. So let's turn Google Slides into a podcasting tool. So here we are in a set of Google Slides that you've probably accessed hundreds of times. So all we're going to do is walk through the process of recording audio with a free web-based tool, maybe even doing a bit of audio editing if we want to get into a, maybe a more complex or refined or polished podcast. And then I'll show you a few tricks about how we can turn this Google Slides environment into a really nice um, simulated podcasting environment. So what I've done here is just set up what would almost act as like a homepage or a host for all of the podcast episodes. So you can see here, I just dropped in some text and made a little placeholder, episode one through six. And you can make this as, as complex in as many episodes as you wanted to. And then just put some text here for my episode one. Another slide down here, strictly for episode one, we're talking about podcasting with Google Slides. Over here, I have a little bit of an overview. And then you can do even some more really creative stuff. So you notice how I put click here to access more detailed show notes. So I can jump over to a Google document have detailed show notes, links to other resources, um, links to research I may have conducted, and then link that. So I'll show you how to do that process really quickly. So here we are in a Google document. This is acting as a set of show notes for episode one. So all I'm going to do is jump up here to the share icon, get into the advanced settings, change the settings to anyone with the link can view. So I don't have to share this with any one particular user, and then just copy that link. So if I jump over back to my Google Slides that are acting as a podcasting um, kind of host, I'll just highlight where it says click here to access the show notes. And then I could do a right click on that text. Oops, let me jump back. Click here to access the show notes. I can do a right click and go into link. Or I can always click here to access the show notes and then go up to the toolbar tap on the link, and then what I'll do is just paste in the link to that Google document that is open for anyone to access. Now, what we need to do is explore the idea of recording audio on the web for free that we can actually add into our Google Slides. So let's do that next. So I'm on one of my favorite uh, free web-based tools to record audio. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit to the voice recorder. And this is on the website 123apps.com and I'll drop that into the, the detail section of the video as well. So I'm gonna to go to the voice recorder and you can see this is a really straightforward tool. I'm just gonna begin the recording process. Hey, this is Greg and I'm demonstrating using 123apps.com, a free web tool to record and capture audio. Once I'm done recording this little snippet of my podcast or maybe the entire podcast, all I have to do is take this audio and upload it to Google Drive in order to make it available in my podcast in Google Slides. So I'm done making the audio. I'll just simply pause and hit stop. I can trim this audio a little bit if I know I have some dead air on either end. And we'll save that. And that just drops down into my downloads folder. I'm just going to upload that to Google Drive and then show you how to drop that into the slides. So what I did with that audio from the 123 Apps website is I just dragged it from my downloads folder right into Google Drive, did a quick rename and called it Podcasting with Google Slides, Slides Episode 1. Now if I jump over to my slides that I'm working in, if I go to the Insert menu, there's an option to insert audio. Go to Insert Audio, go into Recent, and we can see here... Here's podcasting with Google Slides episode one. I will select that audio and now it drops right into my slides 
as a clickable file that anyone can now access. Make that a little bit bigger. Just drop it over here. That is now a clickable file that anyone can access and play that audio back. Let's play it back. Hey, this is Greg, and I'm demonstrating using one, two, three. There we go. So a few more steps in this process, and I think we can really turn it into a podcasting environment. Back on slide two, where I'm acting, this is acting kind of as the homepage for, the, uh, for all of the podcast episodes. What I'm going to do is highlight where it says episode one. And I, what I want this to do is act as a quick link to any episode. So episode one is going to link down to slide three. Episode two would link down to slide four, so on and so forth. So I highlighted episode one. I'll go to the linking function. And instead of linking to the web, I'm going to link to a slide in the presentation. And it's going to link to slide three, which is episode one. And I'll apply that link. So now that links down to episode one. Now, what I'd like to do here is have an option in the corner where when you're done listening, you can jump back to the home page, which is going to be slide two. So what I like to do for that is go to the Explore tool. And I'm just going to type the word home and get a quick Creative Commons image of a home. I'm going to remove the link for that because I don't want it linking to the location. I want it linking back to a slide. So I'm going to drop the home icon down here. And that could be any icon. It doesn't have to be the home icon. What I want that to do is link back to slide two, back to the home page. So I've selected my icon that represents go back home. I'll go to the linking function, link it to a set of slides, and that's going to link to slide two, podcast episodes, and I'll hit apply. Now, if you'd like to make a template for your students, all we have to do is take a blank placeholder like this and just duplicate it out a few times. What we can also do is grab this link to home icon. I'm going to copy that and paste it onto every slide. So now every slide has a link back home. If you wanted to, you could even create the hyperlinks in here ahead of time. You could build out this whole thing. For example, I'll take episode two. Go to the hyperlink function, and episode two, ep episode two is going to link to slide four, and I'll just hit apply. So I could pre-build that, use something like Google Classroom, and then distribute this out to my students, make duplicate copies, and now everyone has the environment where all they have to do is record the audio, possibly create some show notes, possibly create a show description, and everything is linked together. One last step here to the process, which I think could be a nice kind of finishing touch. What I'll do is go to the file menu, and I'm going to publish, publish this out to the web right now. Publish this. Yes, I'll agree to the publishing. I'm going to grab that link, and I'll dump that into my browser just to demonstrate what it's going to look like when you publish this out for our end users to experience your podcast, the Google Slides. So here's slide one. Jump to slide two. There's all the episodes. Let's jump right down to episode one. We can go back home if I want to, read the little description, play the episode right here. Hey, this is Greg, and I'm demonstrating using one, two, three. There we go. We can access the show notes if we'd like to. Those pop open. Let's go back to our published slides, and then I'll jump back home. So that's the whole process. Obviously, um, things you'd want to make sure, make sure the show notes, if you're going to publish everything, make sure the show notes are published. Um, if you'd like to keep it inside your domain, students could always go up here to share, change the settings, and say anyone inside the domain instead of anyone in the world, if possibly they're not allowed to publish. So that's it. We did the run through of podcasting with Google Slides, a pretty easy setup process. So as you can see, it's really not that difficult of a setup process. You can create a template that your students can work from, and now they can essentially publish their own podcast right from Google Slides. By using the publishing feature and then sharing that link with anyone in the world, they can essentially land on that homepage of their podcast, click to get to any episode, and now anyone in the world can listen. If you're working with younger students, you may choose to not do that publishing path and then just keep the link inside your domain. So with a combination of Google Slides, some free web-based recording tools, maybe even a tool like Google Classroom to duplicate that template that the teacher may have created, podcasting is accessible to any student from a Chromebook by simply using the Google Slides platform. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to working with you in the next video.